Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here with your playthrough of the Beachhead Expedition. Now, this playthrough is not going to be for those who are trying to speedrun. This is for those who just want to play the expedition in the intention it was made for people to just enjoy a playthrough and get some wonderful, nice prizes from Hello Games. We're at the start screen and we're going to start from a brand new save. So I'm going to go into here. We're going to drop down here and you're going to notice a couple things when we get this started. First of all, it does say two weeks are remaining. We should have through the following Thursday to get this done. This recording is taking place on the 8th of November. So we'll see how this goes. Anyway, let's get into the mystery of Beachhead. Let's get this started. Now, I've made some adjustments, and hopefully this recording works very well. Uh, I've been make, making some adjustments to my PC, so I'm hoping that things work a little better now. So we'll see how this goes. So as we come into this, as, a, as with any expedition, first of all, this expedition, the historical reference on this, is from 2021. It was the second expedition that Hello Games ever made. And it gives us the uh, Normandy, the frigate Normandy from uh, and my mind just went blank from what game it was originally from but I'm sure you folks already know the, the reference to that but being that this was uh, let me think here almost four years ago and uh, three years since the redux that was done on it even I had to try to figure things out so let's get started pay attention you're starting on the bridge of a, of a freighter Freighters to the universe were a little bit new at this time. Having your own freighter <clears throat> and actually starting on one like this was crazy. So this was all new to us. So that's always the first thing. Now one thing you do have in supply here, you have some supplies that are going to be on board the ship already. And another thing you get is you get a garden room, a, a cultivation chamber, if you will, that will allow you to get some carbon right from the get-go. And you'll be able to hit that multiple times. So you can hit it once here, and when you come back to your freighter later, you can hit it a second or third time if you need to, to get more carbon. You're going to need some more. You're definitely going to need a lot of condensed carbon to do this one. And some, uh, some uh, what do you call it, uh, chromatic metal. Uh, will be needed in large quantities. So I'm in first person view again. Let me get out of that. Uh, I hate first person view, but I'm going to set this because I need to do that later. Oh, I'm a geck again. All right, so let's grab this. It gives us Frost War 2. I don't know why, but I never used it. I guess we'll hang on to that in case we need it for some reason. All right, so we got all of our carbon. So it says 151, but we actually picked up a little bit more, as you can see, 323. I'm going to put that in my exosuit. We'll take a look in here. Here's your update upgrades, first of all. Your jetpack. I always put my jetpack over here rather than the main supercharged slot because even though you get an airburst engine, you get this wonderful upgrade over here. So I'm going to stick it down here and put it in the other supercharged slot. Uh, you also get a personal refiner to do stuff with. Excellent idea. I'm going to put my hazard protection over here and add that in over here and we'll put our oxygen uh, recycler right next to our life support to give it a little boost got a lot of open areas down here for some reason we got a couple extra slots down here never understood why they did that not important we want to get this thing charged up we're gonna need it so I'm gonna get that going first thing I'm gonna do also too I'm gonna just take about half of this uh, you know what let's go half again and let's make some condensed carbon we're gonna need that later so you might as well get it now. Moving on. You got a lot of sections in here you are not going to need. This is all pretty and everything, but really why? You know, honestly. So go ahead and disassemble some of this. If you go into Z, and I'm using a keyboard, by the way, keyboard, mouse, Steam version, and I'm just going to delete some of these sections that we literally do not need. There's nothing over here. We don't need this. We don't need to go outside. I don't need that. And I certainly don't need that wonderful little thing, this wonderful little light, or that wonderful... If I can get the other piece out of here, what is that? There we go. And it says I'm inside that, but I'm trying to get rid of the room. Back up a little bit. There we go. Okay. So we got rid of some rooms, all right? We didn't need those anyway, and we got the resources from it, and that's what's important, okay? 
So how many resources did we get? We got quite a bit. You'll never use the glass. It's not really resellable. Keep your silver on your ship, the paraffinium on your ship. Take the batteries, take the ammunition, take the oxygen. You're going to need all of that on your person. Uh, you do need the chromatic metal. I do suggest you keep it and probably put it in your starship. Same thing with the tritium. Put it in your starship. Uh, the warp cell, you can do whatever you want with. It's up to you. I put the repair kit in my starship because I can use it. And we're going to take any other materials that we can use these things again you don't really use them and they're not really worth much so uh so we'll go ahead and leave this here gold silver we're going to need some more gold later and we do want it to repair stuff on the ship so you'll notice it needs we got enough chromatic metal and gold to fix this um but we do not have the wiring loom so let's go over to our starship first uh anything in here we can disassemble that we don't need we're going to need our rocket launcher for a little while but not right away and I don't think we have any supercharged slots in our ship here today. I get rid of the cadmium trail because, frankly, I don't need it. It's a pretty little thing to have, but honestly, you're not going to need it. Let's just, let's be frank. All right, let's move some stuff around. All right, we got some, some more room there. Multi-tool. Uh, you get a scatter blaster. There really is, you're not going to be doing a whole lot of fighting here. So put your scatter blaster somewhere where it does more use and damage. Uh, let's get our mining beam out in the open where we can use it. we got an advanced mining laser as well. That's great. Terrain manipulator, you can never upgrade. You're going to upgrade the scanner, so leave some room around it to upgrade. So I'll put it down here. All right, so I think we're ready to go. Let's get our get that up to snuff. Okay, we're all set there. Starship ready. Exosuit ready. Let's get moving. Looks like we got a, enough of a little bit of materials here to get ourselves started, but not a lot. So, up oh, wrong way. <laughs> I knew that. All right. So let's head down to the uh, bay down here because we need to get some wiring looms and stuff like that. But before we do that, we got to get some money. So let's take a look at our objectives. So we have to repair some systems. In order to do that, we're going to have to at least get one wiring loom in order to repair something. So since we got to do that. Now, that's number one. We got to set foot on land. We're going to get a Minotaur Geo Bay and combat deployment set. I never end up using the Minotaur, to be honest with you. There's no reason for it. Same thing with the signal booster. You'll need that, and the surge battery you'll need, too. But that's to search for something specific later. We'll get there later. Discover three creatures. You're going to want to just go ahead and scan three creatures, no matter what, what planet you end up on. We will make this in our, in our uh, freighter. Uh, we'll go to another system with it. And you notice we're getting hyperdrive plans, warp hyper cores times three. We're getting some decent stuff out of all of these that will come in very handy. Uh, interstellar scanner plans, some more frigate modules, and you notice you're getting a thousand nanites and 160 quicksilver. Remember that because we're going to need it. Now the nanites are really neat. You see, you get a thousand here, right? Watch this. Go over here, another thousand. That's two thousand. Over here, three thousand. Over here, four thousand. Over here, look, five thousand nanites. Very interesting, right? Why am I telling you about that? Because over, where is it? Over here. You have to earn 4,500 nanites. Well, guess what? If you just get to your, uh, you know, your rendezvous, you've got it. So what does that mean? It means you don't need to get anything. You don't need to sell your upgrades. There's no reason for it. Just work your way through all the all the phases and all the milestones. Okay, guys. So, and what's the reward for getting this? A forbidden exosuit module and a forbidden forbidden multi-tool module. Two things you really don't need. So you don't have to get this early on. You don't even have to worry about it. Ancient Ruins is something special, and we'll show you how to do that later. Digging up buried items is actually simpler than you think. It's not what you think it is. So I'll show you that in a little later, and we got to talk to some aliens. You can get oh, so many things done within the first system. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Get in our ship here, and we'll take, out, take off out of here. So I don't have any money. Right? No no space bucks, no nanites, no quicksilver. Okay, we don't have anything to do. So our best thing to do right now, I don't know why it takes me out the side there, but it does. I always like to be in third person, here we go, is to find a planet that you can go to. Space station isn't going to help you any, right? So there's this planet right in front of us, which is a desolate planet, but it does have animals on it and has some good stuff. You'll notice it says salvageable scrap, cactus flesh, copper, it's not activated, so that's good. That means we don't got really, really strong storms here. Let's take a look in first person at some of the other planets. You got this one here, boiling, but again, it doesn't seem to be terrible. You got ancient bones, which are worth something. You got this little guy over here, windswept. 
vile brood. But notice the distance. It's pretty far out there, right? This one's closer, at 699. What about this one right behind us? Life incompatible. So salvageable scrap, we can get some good good uh, stuff there that we can sell, but there's no life on this planet, so there's no use in really being here. There's a planet beyond it over there that we can check out, and another one right over here. I think we were looking at this one already. The desolate one, which is about a thousand clicks out. I'm going to choose a place that's a little closer. Let's go... Let's see, this one was 699. Let's go ahead and go here. It's boiling, it's hot, but you know what we have in our inventory here? We have heat protection. So we're good. Let's use that. So far my audio seems to be doing good, so I'm going to be keeping an eye on that. Hopefully it does well. Alright, we're on our way. So... I do want to try to save launch fuel if I can, so I'm going to look for some place to land and use its... Uh, oh, look, right there. I think we got a place we can land as long as it has a landing pad. Does it have one? Oh, you know what? That's an abandoned system. We can get Whispering Eggs there, but uh, you know what? Uh, it may not be the best way to go. Let's do a quick scan. Looks like we got a building right over there. I want to try to utilize some place that can give me a landing pad. I don't think it does either, though. That is a nice little drop pod. Hey, look. Another place. Looks like a bigger one, but I think that's just a shelter. Yeah, it's just a shelter. A lot of places around here, though. That's good. Let's turn and go someplace else real quick here. I think we already checked that one out, right? Yeah, that was the drop pod. Let's go check over here. Okay, it looks like there's a place over here. I don't know if it's the same one or not. That's the abandoned one. Let's go back the other way. Not having a lot of luck here, huh? Thought I'd just check a different direction. I don't think we're on a ley line anymore. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This looks promising. There we go. Might be a factory. We might have some uh, sentinels to deal with, but that's okay. I'm not really worried about that. Yep, yep, it's no problem. We're going to leave them alone. They'll leave us alone. All right, so let's take a look around. So first thing we want to know is, do we have any salvage? What is this planet good for? Ancient bones. We're going to look for bones. Bones, because bones are worth money. There's one over there. 397. Okay, so we'll head over there in just a moment. 404. You know what? We could probably hit this one first. Okay. We also need some copper. we got some sodium there. Let's see. Copper right over there. It's pretty far away. Phosphorus. Phosphorus is actually worth it to us since it's really close. Let's go ahead and check it out. Yep, not much, but we don't need much. So we're going to go to our manipulator. We'll use it in the smaller setting. We'll just pick up some of it here. Just, you know, 100 or 200 of it ought to be more than enough to get what we need. What we're going to use the phosphorus for is in place of the batteries. So we'll be able to charge our... Uh, heat protection up with the phosphorus even in a storm. So I'm going to get some of this. This is good material to have for us to, to use. I'm also going to show you a little trick here. A lot of you know about the thrust, uh, what do you call it, the melee thrust is what it's called in order to move from place to place with your jetpack. I'm going to show you of a way that might be faster and doesn't use your jet fuel. Uh, fair warning though, you could get a little injured doing it, but you know it's okay. We're in a pretty decent mode here. Uh, how much do we have? Is that a couple hundred already? 200. All right, that should be enough. All right, so we're going to head towards that item over there, and we'll look for copper here in just a little bit. So, as you know, let me show you the, the, the technique for the uh, thrust right there, the immediately thrust, and then you use your jetpack to jet forward, right? Gets you pretty pretty far pretty quick. There's another technique that if you go into first person and you use your melee attack, just hold it down. See how it keeps doing it? And then start spamming your scan button on your keyboard. And you can actually move very quickly on foot and get someplace and eat up the locations. But you could get injured doing so, especially if you go over a spot that's uh, kind of bad. Okay? Just keep that in mind. It's just a new technique that we've been learning about. Uh, why is this having trouble? There we go. Okay, so we got one bone down there, but it looks like a decent one. 
All right, how much is that sucker worth? I don't know why it keeps going. Uh, 617,000. That's pretty good. If I can get a few more of those. Hey, here's something we need. Always get some dihydrogen. You don't need much of it, but you do need some. So you might as well get some while you can. I haven't found much, much use for it. But it's always good. It's one of the building blocks of No Man's Sky. So just like oxygen, sodium, and uh, carbon, you need these things. And we're going to pick up some more carbon here too while we're at it. Uh, did I miss one? No? Alright. There's some ferrite dust. Let's go ahead and get it. I could scan it, but it's not really important. Oh, that's right. We can get pure as, as well while we're at it. I forgot about that. This is carbon. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab some. Yeah, wow, these things are giving some pretty good amounts of carbon out of them, so that's really good. Already got 200. We do need, you need, like I said, you need a lot of condensed carbon. So if you can find some condensed carbon, grab it. And because that would be a good thing too. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so we've got a good amount of dihydrogen to start with. We've got some silicate. Okay, great. Plenty of carbon. Let's go ahead and drop that in there and get that started. There we go. Let that run. All right, and we do need some ferrite. So let's get some ferrite dust while we're at it. We do need that too. Now, again, this is not a speed run, but it's going to show you a pretty decently fast way to get it done. So I just need some of this. I don't need any ammunition. We're not fighting anything unless we get into trouble. Usually if you're on scrap, if you go to the planets where you're picking up scrap, you might get attacked by um, uh, cursed sentinels. Corrupted. Corrupted sentinels. I said cursed because we just got done with the cursed thing. As you know. Okay. Looks like our hazard protection is dropping. All right. So we found one bone. We do have to get creatures, so let's scan them as we can see them. I think I can get this guy zoomed in on. He's a little bit further than I'd like. Let me see. How about you? There we go. There's one. One. Whoop. I got plant life. There we go. Two. We need one more. Can't seem to see that one. He must be behind a hill or something. Oh, there's our natural burial site. Let's do that. Can we see this guy? No? No? Can't see him? Nope, that's a plant. Any uh, any birds? Flying creatures? Anything like that? Usually we find those in large amounts. Oh, look at that. Biological entity number three. So guess what we just got? There we go. Three new species. So there's your second milestone we just got. Let's go over here. Uh, let's see. Alright, we'll go ahead and grab that. We're going to get a bunch of items in our inventory. The signal booster, the surge batteries, which we do need, and a Minotaur Geobay, which we really don't. Uh, creatures. Okay, we'll get some nice stuff out of this. Now we can build one of the modules that are on our ship. So, Mining Beam Module. We'll go ahead and drop that in. And we're going to probably uninstall that at some point. But let's go ahead and get our hazard protection. How much is this giving us here? Oh, ah, a little minor stuff. That's good. And... Let's charge our shield back up, shall we? Good deal. So what else we got? We got some other items in here. Very nice. This is worth a lot of money. We're going to put it to the side. Let me go ahead and just organize this real quick. Some of the stuff that I'm going to hang on to that are hard-nosed stuff, I put down below. You guys are just going to stay over there. You're bothering me. Okay, let's get the condensed carbon. There we go. We're up to 200. Very nice. We're using this, so I'm going to keep that someplace I can use it. And I'll just stick the oxygen over here from now. There we go. Things are a little bit better organized. I like that better. Okay, remember that technique? So we're at 400, right? Or 870. Ready? So let me show you. So now we're thrusting. Now watch the time. Watch the watch this thing. 750. 700. 650. 600. See how fast this is going? If you get the timing right, you can really move. But the problem is you can still run into objects. And it's still governed by the hills and stuff like that. We're at 500 already. So you still have to look where you're going. Just be advised that sometimes you may go across a hill or run into something or run into plants that you didn't see before. We're already at 350. See? Plant. Almost ran right into him. 220. 
And you know what we haven't used? So we're stuck here. There we go. There we go. We haven't used our jetpack or any fuel. Look at that. Isn't that nice? So look how fast that was. Little trick there, guys. And get this to switch over. There we go. Let's make a big hole here. We got four bones to gather up. Looks like a decent one here. That's nice. And those look like they're cheap ones. One, two, let's see what this one is. And yeah, cheap one, three. Okay, let's see how much they're worth. Uh, 121, anything that's below that, I'll keep it for now, but if we find something more valuable, I'm probably going to just get rid of it. So we got some pretty decent ones. We got over a million now. Oh, condensed carbon. Well, what do you know? And since we have an advanced mining laser, we should be able to get the big one. I walked away from the Sentinel so that I could get these without them bothering me. So, all right, good deal. Excellent. That's a good amount of condensed carbon to start with. Looks like we got some more bones. We're going to go after that. Now, while we're on our way there, I'm going to look for some copper. There's some 800, and which is over here? Sodium, phosphorus. Okay, and there's our ship. We're already a thousand blocks away from it. That is hilarious. Blocks, I say. Yes. Shut up. It's a Minecraft reference. All right, 800. All right, we're at 600 at this point. Let's go uh, this way, and then let's move. Again, you're not using any of your jetpack fuel, and you can continue this forever. See, it bounced me. So try to aim for flat spots if you can. Flatter the terrain, the better. And there we go. We're already there. All right. Looks like four more bones. So I think we're getting to a point where I think we have enough. Okay, hopefully these are better. I'd like to get a nice expensive one, but I don't think we're going to find it. All right, that's four. Okay, now we do. Let's check it out. So we got some decently so, uh, prized ones here. So that gives us about a million and a half. We do need to get um, some wiring looms. So that's going to be expensive, but it'll be all right. Okay, so we need to get five, pardon me, three buried items, right? There's one right there. Subterranean structure will be great. Uh, let's see, our ship is over here, I believe, right? There it is. Ancient data structures. That might be worth hitting. What else we got? We're going to look for buried cash, right? If you do this, uh, let me see, buried, buried, buried. We want to look for it. This would be three items. There it is, right there. Nope, that's three environments. Actually, while we're at it, I like to do picture taking. So it wants us to take pictures. I set it to a hotkey and take a picture. And one of them is a hot planet. So you see, we got the scorched planet. We need an airless and a frozen. We'll get them later. All right, back into the menu. Uh, where are we here? Three? Nope, that's three fleet. We'll show you a quick way of getting that one done too. Uh, dig up buried items. There we go. So choose it, and you can do these anywhere. Are you kidding me? We're literally standing on top of one right now? Unbelievable. Can we get close enough to pick it up? Nope, we're going to have to dig. Like that. <laughs> ah! oh! There we go. Should be right in front of us. Oh, okay. Might be a little hard because it's underneath this ground. Ah, okay, we got it. Okay, we got it. That's one. Oh, we got a movement module out of it, too. Cool. I wonder what kind of mo movement module it is. Ah, halfway decent. It's not great. We'll sell that one later. Awesome. Uh, now, uh, you can work your way out of a cave this way. Here's another little trick here, folks. If you make yourself a quick hole and then look to fill it in like this, but stand in it, and it immediately pops you up to the surface. Little tr little trick there. I was taught by that by somebody else who was a uh, one of the viewers showed me how to do that. So that was a pretty cool idea. All right, where's our ship at? I got turned around. Over that way. Okay, so there's our first one. We got another one. It looks like right in front of us. Where? It usually marks it. Is it also right below me? It says targets in range. Let me just go over here. All right, it's doing that thing again where it thinks that there's another one there. So we're going to ignore that. 
I'm going to look for that buried cache right there. So I'm going to use the jetpack for a second just to show you the reason here. See how fast we're getting to it? And I think if we go to first person and... I think we're literally getting there faster this way. So just a little hint there. And we can pick that one up without digging. So that's two. What do we get? Ah, some silver. That's handy. We need that. So that's good. All right. And our ship is still that way. Is there anything in this direction? No. We got some buried tech, but that's not what it's looking for. All right. Let's head towards the ship just a little ways. I'm going to use my jetpack. Ooh, before I do. See, we already walked 2,500 steps. Isn't that great? We've already got another one. We weren't even trying. Isn't that great? Always get this while you can, because you need a lot of this stuff. A lot of that condensed carbon you're going to need. All right. Well, let's go this way just a little bit. Ah, that's those ancient data structures. Oh, wow, there's a lot of them. If you find these, it's great. It's not so much navigation data, which, by the way, you could use as much as you want. Um, it's sometimes you get an upgrade, like that one. You got an exosuit upgrade chart. Those are worth money. Don't use them. Sell them. Got them all? We did. And we ended up with an upgrade chart worth 85000 see? That's what I mean by saving that. Okay. Where's our ship? Let's take another look. We have some bones 950 in front of us, yet the ship is at 640. I'm looking for that buried cash. 212. Let's grab it. I'm just going to keep using this technique because, frankly, it works great and I can get these things done a little quicker. Whoop. Almost went too far. And picking it up. Big three lost objects, and that's how you get that done. And what did it give us? Gave us some nanites. All right, good. Excellent. Hello, little guy. And what are these? Oxygen! What a great thing to find. A nice oxygen patch next to a condensed carbon patch with a nice sentinel watching over us so that we don't steal everything. I'm going to grab all this oxygen because I can. And because it can come in handy later on. That way I don't have to get the dioxide I really want, but that's okay. All right, did he move on? I think he did. Oh, can't hit them. Standing over here, because if he's a little further away, he won't pick up me hitting them because of where I'm located. There we go. That looks good. All right, I think we've got what we need, so let's see what else we can get done. Shall we? So we have to still have to repair the ship and build that thing inside of our ship. Then we got to get to a new system and construct a storage room. We'll do all that in just a little bit. We just got this, which gives us our fishing rig. We're going to need that. Supreme movement system upgrade. Let's go ahead and grab it. I think that's a good idea. What do you think? Let's go ahead and put it in. So we're going to put this in here. What kind of uh, upgrade is it? 225. You? 239. Okay, you stay. And I'm going to put you up here. We'll get rid of you later. And we're going to put this over here. There we go. Good to have them. Again, might as well use them rather than spending them, right? All right, what's next? Uh, one man's treasure. We get fireworks out of it. So I'm going to hold off on that. I don't think we need it. Uh, looks like we need to pilot our ship a little ways, and we're going to get that automatically. We're going to get some of the, the uh, asteroids while we're up there. Uh, waypoints. Yes, we got to get those. I keep forgetting about that. We will get those real quick here. Alien words, ancient structure. Okay, great. We're going to get uh, some charts to help us find that. And I'm going to show you a little trick to finding some systems too while we're at it. And anything else? Can't do anything there. Okay. Just real quick, did I miss anything? Plants. Oh, yes, of course. Stupid me. Uh, we need to get plants. Plants, plants, plants. Let's get back to the ship because there's plenty of plants over there. Upgrade this real quick. Let's recharge it. Are these plants? Those are not plants. Oh, that was a plant. That was an organic. Okay, not a plant. Those are plants. That's a plant right there. Scan your plants. You should have a few of them on this planet. So that's two. There's three. Your oxygen plants, I should have gotten those. Look for anything that has a question mark. As long as it doesn't say you're an organic. Plant life. Four. You're not going to get them all here, okay? I'll tell you that right now. 
five. At least I don't think you're going to get them all here. Could be wrong. Okay, do a little quick scan. You're looking for, not the hydrogen, you're looking for sodium and oxygen. Even that little blue plant over there. Let's go ahead and grab that. And you can scan that. So scan it. See? That's six. The hazardous flora. That's seven. We did say we needed some... Uh, some copper. We don't actually need a whole lot of it. If we just get a little bit, I think we need it to build something, but I could be wrong. It happens on occasion. Don't tell my wife. Um, let's see. Oxygen. There's our sodium right there. Let's grab that. I just want to scan it. There it is. Sodium. So I think that's like, what, seven or eight? And there's an oxygen plant over there. There it is. Okay, good. We've had a good amount of plants here. That's great. Plant. Ooh, tiny plant. Wow, we're hitting a lot of plants here. I didn't think we'd have that many. Uh, any? I think we got all those. All right, let's head on up. So that should be all the plants that we can get from this one planet. Unless there's water on this planet, which I don't recall if there is. Uh, that's pretty much it. Where's our ship? Am I going the right way? I'm not going the right way. Hey, look, ship. Good. I'll head that way. Sounds like a good idea, right? There we go. So, waypoints. Hit these white things every now and then, okay? Okay, we need four more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made it spin. He's absolutely thrilled by it. I can see that. We could get some of these guys and get more upgrades from them, but we really don't need to. So, I'm not going to. And you know I'm not one to turn down a fight against uh, Sentinels. That's uh, not me. But, when I don't need to, I don't need to. Shall we? Alright, let's go ahead and leave this area. Ouch. Boink, boink, boink. And we're on our way. Okay, so, I'm going to do a quick scan. And we're going to look for... those buildings that we passed by last time. And I'm going to land at each one. Now you're going to get them as you go. Uh, where is the... There it is right there. Whoops. <laughs> that was funny. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. A little further away. Didn't really like that very well. I don't know why. That was the strangest thing I've had happen in a while. Okay. And there's our second one. All right, we'll get more of those later. I'm going to pick up some stuff here. I'm going to pick this up, whatever it is in it, and I'm going to take the rusted metal this time. Okay. And you know what? We do need some extra money at the beginning. We do have to buy a lot of stuff, so I'm going to take this opportunity, and we're going to get some of these eggs. You can do this if you want. You don't have to. Ooh, these guys are really hitting hard today. So we're just going to go on to the next patch. Okay, good. Let's see if we get our shield to bounce back up because these guys are hitting us. Whoa. Almost got me. Okay, shields building. All right, we're back to normal. Should be one more egg over here. Here it is. Okay, any more? I think we're done. Let me just check it. Nope, no more eggs. All right, so we're done. All right, so we'll get the three more uh, locations after this. Not going to bother with checking them out, so let's go ahead and exit the planet and move on. So we're going to head back to the ship here for a little bit, but I'm going to go to the space station first so I can sell some of this stuff. Now our capital ship is right next to the space station, so no matter which one you choose here, it should end up relatively close.
And honestly, I don't have a timer going, so you can see that I'm not even paying attention to how fast we're getting this done. There we go. In we go. Okay. Oh yeah, one man's treasure's been complete. Let's go ahead and... Let's grab it now. So that's out of the way. You can use those fireworks if you like. If you like to make this into your main save later, you can do that. Alright, so our round little terminal over here is way to go. So, so you need this. Don't get rid of it. So we're going to get rid of our charred bones, worn bones, peculiar bones, chip bones. Be careful because it does that. It'll jump all of a sudden and you may select something you don't intend to sell. Upgrade chart. Curious. Imperfect. Larval cores. We can trade them up for nanites, but we really don't need to. Grubby bones. Now, I'm going to hang on to the Geo Bay. I haven't found a use for it yet, but we'll see. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to keep the microprocessor. I'm going to get the ancient bones. Okay. Looks like that's everything. We ended up with 2.7 million. Now we're going to move on. I'm going to take all their ferrite dust. I am going to grab their cobalt because we need to turn it into ionized later. I'm going to get some processors. I'm going to get four more of those just in case. I think we need to build our uh, hyperdrive if we will. Uh, let's see. We do need pyrite would be nice. Let's put that in our starship though. Doesn't cost much. Um, we don't need the copper, but I'm going to go ahead and grab it anyway, and I'm going to put it in my starship as well, just in case we need it for something later on, and finally some tritium. And it looks like we got plenty to keep our pulse drive going, so that's a good amount. All right, we're done here. Um, let's exit. We're going to check our pilots out, because the pilots seem to be carrying a lot of chromatic metal lately. A lot of them landed. I have no idea how, some, how long some of these have been here, but I'm about to find out. All right, what do we got? Offer to trade. I'll grab some more ferrite dust and some more cobalt. Chromatic metal, see? I'm going to put that in my main inventory here. That's great. I don't know if we need this or not. I'm going to grab it anyway, the, the magnetized ferrite. We do need carbon nanotubes, but we'll have enough carbon to make it ourselves. I'm going to get some wiring loops. I'm going to get about 10 of them. It's a lot, right? But for some reason, I seem to need them, and I don't know why. Anybody else still here, or did they all leave? I think they all left. Yeah, they did. But hey, more are coming in, so that's good. A little more chromatic metal, because again, you do need a good amount of it. We can always turn our copper into that if worse comes to worse. Alright, looks like another ship is landing as well. Uh, I think we're good on the cobalt and the that dioxide. I'm going to go ahead and grab it anyway. It's handy. The phosphorus we don't need any of now, so we're good there. Magnetic resonators come to mind. Don't know why, but I seem to recall I needed a couple of them. Let me see if anyone has any. Chromatic metal. We'll grab it. Now we're up to about 800 chromatic metal, so we're doing good there. Let me see what he has. Magnetic resonators. I'm going to get two of them, because I seem to recall we needed them. Uranium. Great. We'll put that in our starship. Fantastic. That was 200,000. I shouldn't have spent that much. Ooh, I nice cobalt. We've already got some. How much does he want? Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Good, 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 good. If you can get that, grab it, because that's handy. It's a building block of one of the items you need to make. And I think you got to make more than one, so... Let's see if this guy has anything. He'll be the last one I think I hit today. Let's see. Solar mirror. Um, I'm going to grab two. I don't remember how many I needed. Copper, I'm going to hold off. We'll grab some more chromatic metal. Okay. And that should do it. I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't think we need anything else. Guess we'll find out later, right? But we can always hit the space stations for more stuff. Let's head back to our freighter and get some things fixed. Uh, freighter should be right in front of you. There it is. Orient ourselves so we land properly. we got some asteroids right there. Why don't we kill off another milestone, shall we? Now... Your weapons on this are wussy, okay? You don't have any supercharged slots. Try to aim for the smaller asteroids if you can. You need to get 50 of these things, so it takes you a little bit to get them. But you're going to get some nice resources out of them, so might as well get it. If you need to aim for the bigger ones, try to use your uh, rockets and get them. 
Stay away from the star-shaped ones. All they are is platinum, and you're not really going to find much use for it. It's worth some money, but so what? And also, you're going to be joined sooner or later by someone else in the, the field here, an NPC. Try not to shoot them. I've made that mistake before and then had to retreat to the station as they were taking me out, so... Because they got mad. And then I had the Sentinels coming on me because they were upset with me, too. Had to fight the law. Terrible things. Terrible things. Okay, there we go. There we go. Again, smaller ones, if you can. If you're about to overheat like that, use your rockets. Uh, over here. There we go. As soon as we get this done, we get our freighter going. There we go. Okay, where's our freighter at? Over there. Alright, good. We'll be able to check out what we got in our inventory from all that in just a moment. Notice you do have a frigate that's attached to your freighter here. Every freighter has one, at least. All right, let's see what we got. Gold nugget. We have an anomaly detector, which will be useless to us. We got plenty of tritium now. Look at that. We got a good amount of gold. I'm going to put the gold in my freighter. Uh, the silver I'm going to put in the freighter. Uh, we'll keep the copper here, the pyrite here. So, uranium for your landing gear, your pyrite for your pulse drive. See? Pretty good. And now that we're done with that, you're not going to need these anymore. You can uninstall them if you wish. All right. And here's all the stuff we have over here. I'm going to drop this in here and turn it into some ferrite dust. All right. And anything in here we want to put into our other inventory? Not yet. Let's just go ahead and exit the ship and get our freighter repaired, shall we? We got things to do in here, too, so I'm going to head upstairs. There we go. All right. Time to fix things. So this needs to be fixed. We now have a wiring loom, plenty of gold, and chromatic metal. So let's get that up to snuff. I do recommend that you do want to get your matter beam fixed, and you need antimatter to make it. We have... Now, yeah, there's some magnetic resonators I said we needed, right? Well, now you know why. So let me go ahead and make the antimatter which is requiring condensed carbon. Remember how much I told you we needed that. I'm going to make a whole bunch because we need it. There we go. That's good to go. So this is very handy. This will help you teleport stuff from a great distance. We need two antimatter housings. Let's go ahead and repair the first parts. So we got our antimatter, that thing, and two antimatter housings. See, we already used up some of that stuff. There it is. One, two. We needed oxygen for that too anyway. That's ready to go. So see, we're all set. And our freighter hyperdrive is ready to go. You only really need to jump once with it. We're not going to use the freighter again to do any jumping. So you can just leave it. That'll be perfectly fine. All right. But we're going to need some for our starship. So I'm going to take it and put it in there. Plenty of gold, plenty of silver. That looks good. All right. So I'm going to put this in my, my starship. Same thing with this. Any of these hard objects I don't need in my inventory. I'm going to keep my uh, signal processor, uh, signal booster on me. All right, but items like this, I need this, obviously. That I need. That's good for life support, as you can see. And we're going to keep some of the other stuff. I have cobalt, but I've already got ionized cobalt. I'm very, very glad about that. So, oh, uh, put the silver in the freighter. Do we have any gold? No? Good. So I'm going to turn half of this into, there we go, ionized cobalt, because I think we're going to need a little bit extra. And we got tons of navigation data. We're going to need that too, and I'll show you why later. Uh, let's charge that up while we're here. Okay, good. Looks like we're ready to go in here. There's our milestone. We've restored systems. So let's go in and grab our rewards real quick. So that's this one. Okay, we get some antimatter, some fuel. Good. And we're also going to go over here and get our stardust. We get start. We get starship inventory slots, so that's handy. I'm going to fill in some of these blanks that are in here in the middle that they really upset me. There we go. That makes me feel so much better. Now, one thing that you don't have in your starship, what's missing? Your hyperdrive, correct. 
let's go ahead and install that we don't get it yet we will get it in the next system but we're going to be installing the hyperdrive soon so keep that in mind and that's what we need this for all right uh, let's see anything else we can do while we're here uh, we have oh we have to do the orbital exocraft materializer so up the green staircase and I'm going to put it all the way in the back because you really don't need it. So there it is. And what do you require to make it? You need three warp cells. You got 60 golds and the ionized cobalt. So the warp cells we're going to make right now. Right? One, two, three. There we go. So that should help us make that. And boom, made. Now you know something else you can make while you're here? You can also make, you saw that, one of your storage rooms. 50 silver, 20 sodium. Go ahead and put that in. And we've now installed the storage room. Look at that. There's two down. Let's see what else we can build. So we got to go to another system. Uh, teleport chamber plans. We're going to get those. And we do need to build a teleporter. We need an amino chamber for that. So we're going to have to pick one of those up later. And refiner room you really don't need just yet. Scanner room, you're not really going to need, but they do come in handy. I'll tell you that, though. I don't think you have to build the scanner room. Let me check that real quick, because I'm pretty sure you don't have to. Oh, yes, you do. Okay, let's build the scanner room. Can we build that now? Let me see. Mm, yes, we have everything to build it with. Let's go ahead and build it. I'm going to build it closer to the front. I'm going to build it right here. Okay, and we'll get that reward. There we go. So you see how many rewards? We haven't even left the first system yet. And we're getting all these rewards already. So that's in number two. There we go. We get more Starship inventory slots. I'm going to put one there. And I'm going to put one, two, three up there because I need them. You're going to need all the room you can get because you keep getting these upgrades. So launch thrusters. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put that here. Uh, that was in my Starship, right? Nope, that was in the freighter. There it is. So, and we're going to put this here. Okay, good. All right. Looking good. Looking good. All right, what's next? Uh, Supercargo. Yes, we're going to get that now. Interstellar Scanner. Never found use for it. it. It can tell us what the economic and conflict data is in another system, but honestly, you don't need to build that. It's not necessary. I'm pretty sure you don't have to build it. I don't think there's a reward for it anywhere. Uh, let me check. Okay, is stranded. Plants. We got three more plants to go. Look at that. Freighter. Crash freighter. Yep, yep, yep. Five uncommon fish from an ice world. Yep, we'll get to that later. And rendezvous too. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, double cultivation chamber. Hold on that. Now. Hold on that because you're going to get it as after you get your photographs. Uh, three fleet expeditions. We haven't built that yet, but we can build it right now. Uh, what else we got? We got to learn words. I should have just talked to some people in the in the space station. I forgot about that. We'll hit it at the second space station, though. Or maybe at the next system. Okay. All right. Let's build the fleet command room. Do we have the materials? Yes, we do. I will put that right over here. I'm going to put the teleporter over there. That's why. All right. Now, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and hit the fleet command station. See? But... It didn't give me what I was looking for. I thought it would give me materials. Okay, we'll have to hold off on that. I'm thinking that the reason for that is because we need to do something first. I think that's one of these two. One of these two gives us something else. So let's go ahead and move on. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next system here. So we are literally ready to go. Let's go ahead over here. Once we get access to fuel, I think it'll let us. And we just need to go jump one system. It's not going to take us all the way there because we don't have the ability to go that far with our freighter yet. So we just need to do one jump with our freighter, and then we're good to go. How many milestones have we completed? About 10? 12? I don't know. I lost track. Probably could have completed three more, three more while we were there. Now, this is not the Rendezvous 1 system, but it would be a regular system, and we can just go to the space station while we're here. We need an amino chamber. Remember that? I need to get one of those. All right. We are here. And if you haven't checked the system, 
little trick. If you don't know much about freighters, you go to this thing, activate, activate planetary probe. It checks everything out and then tells you everything about the planets. So we do have an icebound planet we can go to. There's a paradise one here. That's cool. A desolate one. Uh, let's see, an arctic one, another arctic one we can go to, as well as a violent one. So we don't have any... That might be one that we can use. Desolate, maybe uh, low atmo. If it is, we're good. And we've got two cold planets we can get. Okay. So that gives us our engage warp. And we get a hyperdrive that we can build now on our ship. And see, that's what those five uh, microprocessors were for that we can now build. So here we go. We're going to put that in. It is ready to go. Now we do need some warp cells. Uh, let's see here. I don't think... Ooh, we got planetary charts. I'm going to put that in my ship. Um, you need these. Take them and put them in your ship as well. Cargo bulkheads. You can actually expand your inventory in this ship. Let's do that real quick here. Additional storage. And I'm going to put them... You don't need them up here, so just go ahead and put them down here. And I'm going to put it in that little hole there. There we go. Okay, good. So we have increased the storage space of our freighter. All right. Anything else we can do? we got to get to Rendezvous 1, which we're not going to do right now. We do need to discover more plants and do a little fishing. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll be the next stage right now. Do, 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 do. Off we go. And brrrt, out of the ship. Okay. So where are we going? We're going to hit the space station first. I want an amino chamber. You can usually find them at minor settlements if you're fortunate, but, uh, you know, finding one is usually far between. I'm probably going to find one as I'm flying over it here in a little bit, but whatever. Ooh, look at that nice solar ship over there. I've been hearing rumors that you can now part out the solar ship, so a little something something you guys can think about. Let's see what he's got, because um, I'm more interested in finding an amino chamber. It's not likely it's going to be at the uh, trading uh, terminal. Let's see. Uranium, gold, dioxide, pugnium. Uh, I think we needed pugnium for something. How much is that? Yeah, I'll go ahead and grab that. I'm going to put it in my starship inventory, though. Thank you. Okay, sir, what about you? Amino chamber, maybe? Solar mirror. Chromatic metal. I'm going to grab more chromatic metal, because I think we're going to need it. Okay. And is that a... That's not my ship, of course, yeah. Before he leaves if he's got the amino chambers are just like the magnetic resonators and everything like that they're just random not everybody will have one obviously looks like everybody left okay i'll check the trade terminal real quick and see what we can come up with really do want one of those whoops ran out of running juice there we go uh let's see wouldn't it be funny if they did have it but they don't Okay, they do not have it. Now we could go to the anomaly and check there, but no reason to do so. Oh, we got a fighter and we got an explorer. Uh, explorer? Yeah, explorer class, right. The name escaped me for a moment, as did the explorer. Yep, hi there. Good to see you. What do you got? Hey, amino chamber. There you go. We just need one. All right, anything else he has we need? We don't need anything else. You're good. Thank you very much, sir. Have a nice day. Okay, so we're good. Let's go ahead and head out. Can we uh, can we do anything with this right now? Okay, that's for building our other chamber later. Okay, so we're going to hold off on that. All right, let's go. We need to scan a couple more planets. All right, what do we got? That looks like a cold planet right in front of me. It's desolate. Hmm. Is it going to work? Is it low atmo? Let's find out. I'm going to stay right here. And we're going to go into this. As long as you're within the planetary uh, shift where you're... If you, if you look in here, if you see the coordinates on your screen on the left, rather than distances, it means you're within the, the atmospheric umbra. And you can... Take a picture. 
Does it work though? Let's find out. Let's go check that picture thing out real quick. I don't know where it was. We need three pictures, right? Yep, it counted. It counted. So that's two. So now we just need a cold planet. And this planet's not going to do us any good, so we're just going to go ahead and exit the planet. Construction area? Okay. Alright, what are you? I think that's a cold planet, is it? Paradise. That's our paradise planet. Wrong place. Though we can do some stuff there, but we need we need a cold planet. Uh, what about you? You look cold. I think you're cold. Let's find out. How far away are you? Ah, oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and head there. Uh, doesn't look like we have any problems with uh, sentinels there. We got some water. We can do some fishing. Okay, we're going to do a bunch of stuff here. Plus, we'll take a picture while we're at it. Oh, wait. More more land. I wanted water. Okay, uh, let's see. So we're going to aim for a shoreline. I prefer daytime side so I can see where I'm headed. That looks just swimmingly great. Get it? Swimmingly? <laughs> ah, sorry. Sooner or later, we'll come to a landing. I had to pick a slow ship, didn't I? There we go, finally. Wow. Alright, and we'll just exit and take a picture, shall we? Shall we pose? How about that? Look at that. Smile! Oh great, we got animals that don't like us. Where is he? Oh, where'd he go? Okay. Hmm. Speaking of which, don't we need some... Let me think here. We want to get spicy chum. So I need more Mordite. Hey, can we get a couple more animals here? We could use some, uh, some, some Mordite. Can't shoot the birds. They don't count. But it's good that we chose a little, a little island. You know what we should look for? Let's look for fish that we can shoot. Shall we? I don't have any cold protection, so we're going to freeze our butts off here, but that's okay. We'll be all right. Hmm. Apparently the water is warmer. Nope, those don't count. I need fish fish. Looks like we got some fish fish over there there. And don't forget we need... Uh... Okay, how much more do we just get? Do we get 80? We're up to 60. At least that's something. Let's scan some plants while we're here. One. Uh, let's see. Inorganic. Inorganic. Plant. Okay, let's get these fish first. Reload. Some plants over there. We have to get up to the surface here because we're about to drown. No, I don't want the biological entity. Thank you. Okay, there's two. Any more plants? Plant life. Lots of biologics that want to stand in the camera here. All right, we'll get one on shore. We just got one more plant to go. And how much uh, more we got? We got 84. Okay, that should be enough. Let's get the... Spicy chum. So that's what more phosphorus and the dihydrogen was for. Now I remember. All right, good. What that is good for, by the way, is... Is that a plant? It is. There's our third plant. Is for catching uh, more rare fish. So I'm going to stick with that for my fishing. And it's only 30 of it, so... All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. Now, did we install? We did not install it, so we have to install our fishing rig. We don't get it, so we have to make it ourselves. Let's put it right here. Uh, we need a dihydrogen jelly and a carbon nanotube. Let's put it in. Do we have enough dihydrogen for it? I hope so. Yes, we do. Good. And three carbon nanotubes. One. Two, three. Ha, 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 ha. All right. There we go. We are now installed and ready to go. 
Now, before we do that, we're just going to choose it, and we're going to throw our spicy chum in. All right, good. We're ready. So now we're just going to go fishing. Now, little trick, little thing that we always tell people to do, but guess what? You can't do it is to set your fishing timer to auto catch, but it won't let you. It's grayed out for this particular one. I am so sorry, folks. So you're going to have to just pay attention. Now, I like to do this to try to entice them. But as soon as they start biting, you got to be careful. There's the one. Sometimes they bite quicker. That's three, four. He's just going to take his time. Okay, and you want to start reeling. And it looks like I got my first one, so that's a rare one. So that's uncommon. That's what we're looking for. Let's let's pull it up real quick so we have uh, eyeballs on it here. Uh, five uncommon fish, and we are up to one. Yay! So one for one. Two. Come on, come on. There's two. And three. Four. Five. All right, so five sometimes is what it takes. Needlefish does not count. Even though it's uncommon, it doesn't count. Just getting a drink, folks. Oh, that's my fault. I didn't think he was going to hit hit it so hard there. All right, what can we use? Sodium or battery? Let's go use a battery. Sounds like we had a worm just fly over. Whoop, 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 whoop. Longjaw snapper. He's uncommon, but he's not an ice fish, if you will. Okay, he's biting. Oop, got him that time. Ah, uh, hypnotic octopus. Again, not common, but not what I'm looking for. Ooh, pay attention. Did we get a good one? We did. Same one we had before that gave us what we were looking for. So I'm going to go in here real quick and just get rid of some of these other ones that we don't need. There we go. This is handy. There we go. I can't see the fish that's attacking because he's on the far side. Oop, got him. Mud crab does not count. So we're going to get rid of him. Yeah, I'll get rid of that too. All right. Basically, it's just patience when it comes to fishing, as we all know. Got him. Ah, frost shell clam, that's number three. Sometimes if you cast right away, you can pull in a second fish. Just keep that in mind. I don't know if you put him in a supercharged slot, whether it would have any effect on that, but there we are. Oh, he caught on the first one and I didn't expect it. Oh, there he is. He's over there this time. Ooh, again, grabbed on the first. Frozen isopod. There we are. That's four. We need one more.
Ten casts, four fish, but I lost two. Whoop. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, I didn't know that would happen. That's interesting. If you hold it down as if you're reeling it in, you'll lose the fish. All right. All right, hopefully this is it. We did. We got them. There it is. We got all five. So we're done with that. All right, where's our ship at? Good, good, good. I'm going to go ahead and grab this while I'm here. All right, a little extra sodium can't hurt. And I think we're pretty much done with this planet. Let's see. Now, what we can do while we're here is we could use our... Let me go ahead and grab that, by the way. Uh, let's see. We did the plants. We need the double cultivation chamber. And we're getting some item, items out of it, too. Uh, nice. We've got the thermal protection. That's great. Let's go ahead and put them in, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the fish. Uh, there's really no reason... Oh, those are worth something, though, huh? Hmm. Yeah. Nah, let's go ahead and get rid of them. All right, I'll keep those. I can sell them. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to install some of these. So we got some thermal protection. Okay, right? Another hot protection. We've got a scanner module. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. That's going to increase my scanner range and give me a little more money for the animals I scan. Uh, two mining bean modules. Good. Uh, we're not going to be able to use both, though. So, let's see. Which one do we want to keep? 15, 21, and 11. 12, 22, and 11. 16, 22, and 13. So that one's better. Sort of than that one. I like the overheat downtime. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one. That one looks really good. So, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that one. And we'll get a wiring loom out of it. So, that's good. All right, what else we got? It's wanting us to make something, and I don't know what it wants us to make. Charge the hyperdrive with a warp cell. Well, we don't have to do that, because we have one of these. Too bad for you. Ha ha. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and do a scan while we're here. Now, one thing we also could use is a freighter. Hey, look, worm. We have worm sign. Oh, we got a freighter crash site. Awesome. What do you know? How far away is it? Let's see. Uh, a little over a minute. Let's just go up to the upper atmosphere and we'll go a little quicker this way. Because we won't have to uh, pulse drive to it. We're fast enough up here to hit it. We flew our 100,000 units, see? Nothing special you have to worry about on that. You will get that automatically at this point. Same thing with the walking around 2,500 uh, steps. You're going to get that real quick. Especially if you do it my way. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, part of the ship is underground. Isn't that interesting? We don't need to do much here. You don't need to go for the items in the in the uh, cargo containers. Just go ahead and land and hit up this thing right here. If you can reach it. Read the log. I'm not going to bother reading it, folks. They say pretty much the same thing every time. So, And that's it. Crash freighter. And that's done. So, let's get that one. There we go. We got some nice upgrades here. Uh, here they are. Okay. So we got a Supreme. Oh, this is for our freighter. Ooh, fancy schmancy. See? Good deal. All right, we can put them in the ship. But we do get two more scanner modules out of this. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those and put them in. There we go. Nice scanner range. Look at that. Isn't that great? All right. Let's go look for a crashed ship and a pilot if we can find one. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to do... where to go? Up here. Sometimes it might find a building. So keep that in mind. You're not always going to get a distress signal. The distress signals could be either a regular crash ship or... Either a regular crash ship or it could be an actual pilot that's in distress. So let's find out, shall we? Ah, daytime. Okay, coming in. So far it looks like this recording is going well, so that's great. And I'm probably going to do this whole thing in two parts. So this will be part one and we'll record part two. And submit that later. Alright, what do we got here? We're looking for someone wandering around. 
There is a person wandering around. Excellent. So this is our pilot that we have to rescue. It's a geck like me. What do you know? All right, what has he got? Can't understand a thing he's saying. Uh, let see. The geck appears to have been stranded. Their starship smoking and landlocked. They shrug, wide-eyed and innocent, indicating the faulty navigational gimbal that drove them into the dirt. Offer assistance. He looks pleased. Our ship pointedly between me and the crash. Okay, let's go check out the ship. All right, what do we got? Uh, it's revealing the ship has been poorly maintained. The various systems are simply wearing out. The various parts look more than a decade old. So we could just patch up critical systems or report, report, uh, pardon me, perform a deeper repair of a microprocessor. We'll just go ahead and patch it up. Okay. And we're done. And where'd he go? There he is. Let's go ahead and talk to him. All right. Try to press the importance of good starship upkeep to the sales geck, but it seems they cannot or will not understand me. Nonetheless, they seem appreciative of my light repairs. Wave farewell. And he's going to give me some nanites. We assisted a stranded life form. So there you go. That one's done. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, we don't need to salvage this guy, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. All right. Uh, rescue. Done. Multi-tool inventory slots. We're going to get two of them. We can't use the other three. All right. So this is done. we got to go on to rendezvous two. Phase three has a couple in here. So here's our aviator, right? So we're going to go ahead and take that. All right. And it does come with at least one upgrade. Movement module we're going to get. Let's see what we can get rid of. 211, 225, 102. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. Put you in. So that'll give us more of an upgrade. Uh, pulse engine modules. Let's go ahead and put them in. Uh, I'm going to move you over here. So what's it at? 329 is my maneuverability. 304. Let me just see something here. 329. Okay. That'll be fine. That's where I'll put it then. And we get one more module. Where is it? Pulse engine. 402. Okay, good. Excellent. 403. 403. All right, leave it there. All right, good deal. And we do want to get that launch auto charger if we can. How much? We need antimatter, but we have the solar mirrors. That's what I re needed those for. So, great. I'm glad I got them. I'm going to do one more antimatter and we're good excellent so we have the auto charger now fantastic and it should automatically charge on its own now beautiful that's always a wonderful thing all right good 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 oh we've got a couple of these let's see what we've got emerald more emerald and some more magnetized ferret the emerald's really handy though i'll put that in my starship though all right good Looks like we're off to a good start here. Oh, we got something in here. What is that? Oh, ironized cobalt, of course. Okay, good. So, anything else we can claim? Uh, yes, Grand Tour. Double cultivation chamber plans. Good. I need Fecium. Oh, wow, I forgot all about that. Um, we can get it from animals if we feed them, but we can also get it from ships. So, I'm going to do something kind of tricky here. We could go up to the space station and find it, but you know what? We can do it just as easily, possibly in our own capital ship. Let's head there for now. Because Fecium, and sometimes the pilots that land at like landing platforms, including your freighter, um, will have items on them, other items, so we can grab those while we're there. Could have pulled our freighter in, but I'd rather hit it closer to the space station. There we go. Is this the top or the bottom? It is the top. There we go. And now we just want to look for pilots that have landed in here, or are landing in here. See the door still open? It comes closed. Just watch for the doors to open. I'm going to get up on top of this thing here. There should be some landing in just a moment. Hey, look, one just landed. There's another one landing over there. Okay, let's see this guy. And we're looking for Fecium, right? Okay, it's tritium gold launch fuel. Okay, not handy. 
Oh, we got a third one over there. Okay, I didn't realize he had landed. Didn't think they landed that deep into the ship. More for the trade. Yep, star bulbs. Fortunately, they only have one level of stuff that they have in their inventory, so we don't have to scroll through a whole bunch of stuff and hope that we don't miss it. Cactus flesh, see what I mean? They carry other items on occasion, so good to check them out. Oh, missed him. Do what he gets. Okay. BCM, there we go. See? Told you. They're good. And now we can make the chamber. So let's head up the stairs and make our chamber real quick. So we need a double chamber. Uh, I'm going to put that over here. Uh, where'd it go? It's going to be under the plants. Double cultivation chamber. I guess we're putting it over here. Okay, good. Got it. Okay, good, good, good. And there we go. Number three is done. Okay, biological room. We don't need it. Nutrition room we don't need. We don't need any of the plants. But we have them as the, you know, as it says. All right, anything else we need to do here? Two is completed except for the rendezvous. So look at what we got. We got one done. We still haven't reached a rendezvous. We got two done. Still haven't reached a rendezvous. Three is almost done. We've got to complete fleet expeditions. I don't know if we can do those yet. We need to chart some more waypoints. I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, let's see. We're getting our nanites as we go. Let's hit the space station real quick, and we can get some ancient ruins while we're at it. Can I do this yet? Oh, good. We calibrated it, and guess what we got? We got a download. Did we get any fuel out of that? Don't think we did, but we can make some if we want. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we did. We got some fuel. All right. Let's do the uh let's do that real quick. I'll show you how to get this done, guys. Go to your guy here. You only need to do 3 expeditions instead of the 8 I think we required the first time we had to do this. Choose anything. Don't don't worry about what you choose. I'm just going to choose this. Assign a ship, choose the one ship you have, come back, and hit launch. As long as it's a little less fuel. Go up here, go back here, select it, and choose abort. It's going to ask if you're sure, and then you go back in one more time, and you debrief them. And that's it. We're done. And now he's immediately available. So you can go back over here. Do another one. If they'll stop waving at me. There we go. Potential. Choose a different one, obviously. Uh, assign a ship. Choose the ship. Exit. It says 100 tons. So hopefully the next one will be short. Because we only have 50 tons left after this. We may have to make some. Okay. Complete command. Abort, go back in, time, and debrief. End. Okay. Back to the beginning, and we got to do it one more time. And we want to choose something short, like this one up here. Choose, select, exit, launch. It only requires 50, so we're good. And one more time, abort the mission. You can keep it going if you want, it's up to you, but if you're looking to complete this in a timely fashion, or the expedition, one more time, debrief, and, and we're done. And there we go, three completed expeditions, all set. Let's go ahead in here and collect it. There we go. And that's all she wrote. That's all we need. So now we're ready to go here. Um, while we're here, put our scanner module in. Yep, we get another one. There we go. Get rid of the one we don't need. Mining beams. We don't need these. We've got so many, it's ridiculous. So we're going to hold off on that. Salvage fleet unit. Go ahead and put it in. 
Fleet Beacon. Hyperdrive. Wrong spot. There we go. So it boosts out our hyperdrive and gives us more range. All right, so we're all set here. And we got all of our upgrades out of the out of the system here. I'm going to put this in my starship. Starship. I'm keeping these because we're going to use them in a minute. Yeah, why not? Didn't we need that for something? Hold on. We needed to build something else, didn't we? I'm missing something. Hold on. I forgot. I know there was one. Teleport chamber, of course. Let's build the teleport chamber because now that we have our amino chamber, we just need antimatter. So let's make three antimatter. One, two, three, and we can build it now. I'm going to put it right here where we can get to it. Guess what? That's another milestone complete. We haven't even hit the rendezvous yet, guys. Look at all these milestones we're collecting. Okay, good. All right, what do we got? So we need to chart some more waypoints. We need to get an ancient ruin and more words. So let's go to the space station and check it out real quick, shall we? You know what? Let's take our teleporter. Current system. Why? I'll give you five seconds to think about it. Never mind, too late. That's why. Okay, so let's go here, and we're going to sell some stuff off real fast that we just... It's in our inventory. We just need to get rid of it. Uh, let's see here. We don't need that fee seam anymore. We'll get rid of the meaty chunks. Uh, wow, we don't really have a lot in here, do we? What about a starship? Anomaly detector, we do not need. We don't need that. We don't need that. We really don't need these. You can sell them for money. All right, and I'm hanging on to the emerald in case we need to turn it into more chromatic metal. But... We're all done here. Good. So, remember I said we had to stop here? Let's talk to some people. We need six words, I think. Just hit request dialect, choose a symbol, and go. Uh, let's hit the trade guy here, the, pardon me, the map guy here, the cartographer. And we're going to get ancient ruins. Specific chart. We need... Alien cartographic chart. Uh, let's see. We need at least... I'm going to get four of those. While you're here, though, we need... I seem like we needed something else. Was it the same thing? Yeah, we do. Let's grab two more of those. Oops. Almost went the wrong way. That's okay. We'll grab four more. No big deal. All right. We got plenty of them. Hey, another person we can talk to and get a word. Dialect and a word. Okay, that's two. Did we already talk to him? No, we didn't. That's three. Got a Viking over here we can talk to. Four. Anybody else? Looks like there's somebody over here. Let's talk to him. There's another one over there. Five. One more. And six. And once that fades from the screen, there you go. Done. All right, so we got our languages. We have can build our components now. Translators. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Okay, you got nip-nip buds. I suggest just get rid of them. Last thing you need is the authorities to pull you over. I'm going to sell them for money in case I need to buy something later. There we go. All right. Now, I think that's all we need to do here. We've got the ancient ruin that we're going to go look for. Okay, good. And we need to chart some waypoints, so we'll get them while we're at it. All right, let's go do it. Um, ancient ruin. All right. Head to our ship. We're going to head down to a planet really close by and look for an ancient ruin. So it's amazing how many milestones you can complete just the first two systems. Most of them, to be clear. And we'll use the Paradise Planet for it, shall we? We have to be within the at planet atmosphere. So wait till you see the little things on the left side of the screen pop up. 
There we go, like that. And then go into your inventory, which is now my exosuit. i got to pull it out of there and put it in my starship. It's easier. And scan. Anything will do for this. Okay, like that right there. Artifact, that's perfectly fine. Just, just do it. You only need one. You, it could be a monolith. It could be anything. How far away is it? Only a minute away. Okay, let me see how fast we can get there. Because we're out of the atmosphere. For some reason, it wants us to fly straight rather than use our pulse drive. So, we'll go ahead and do that. Again, we're not in a rush. Discovery services are active. They're checking me out. So that little symbol at the bottom right keeps popping up for. All right. And yeah, it's going to take the slow way down. Let's see if we can get a little bit more speed out of this thing. Probably not. Hmm, nice looking planet. Green sky. Not keen on that, but that's okay. That looked like another black right there. Could have stopped that, but that's okay. We're here. Okay. You don't have to do much here. Just go ahead and take the knowledge. You're going to see another choice that you can't choose, and that's this one. We'll get that later. Just do lang help with language. And there you go. Lost relic. Done. Let's go ahead and grab that one. All right, so we've gotten so many of these done here. Uh, underwater protection, sure, I'll throw it in there. We got a nice uh, Vikeem reports worth 1.8 and a shield. Let's put the shield over there. Uh, pretty nice, actually. All right, good deal. So I think we're pretty much done here. All right, anything else we need to do? We need to do our um, waypoints. Let's go find three waypoints real quick here. We're going to stick to the ley lines. Uh, we're looking across the water. Let's go the opposite direction, shall we? Looks like it's across the water again. What do you know? Uh, let's see. South. This way. Okay. Oh, there's one right there. Ooh, might have a landing pad, too. I think. Yeah, good. Well, it's doing that again. So it doesn't look like we needed the copper after all that I could see. Okay, good. Waypoint. Turn around, we could find a ship with that too, by the way, if you really, 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 really wanted to. Oh, another one over here. As long as it's not a beacon, and it isn't, it's doing it again. I don't know what it is about these landing pads lately, but they don't want us to find them. Yep, yeah, now we're taking the slow roll to get there. Alright, there we go. Okay. Beacon. Or no, waypoint. I'll get it right, don't worry. Doing okay, doing okay. All right, let's do another scan. Let's go see what we want. Did we come from the north? We were heading south, I think, correct? That's correct, we were. Let's head this way. Looks like we got one right over here. Underneath the rock shelf. Different building. Let's see if it'll let us land this time. Hey, it worked. Got a nice, a nice little quad, little quad sitting, sitting right there, there waiting for us to be petted. petted. That's, nice. That's nice. And there we go. We got our five waypoints. That's fantastic. All right. And we just got to goof off with the quad here a little bit. Uh, let's see what kind of... Hoping I could just pet him, but I guess that's not... Hmm. Yeah, maybe... No, this is ridiculous. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so we got that waypoint done. Let's move on, shall we? All right, so let's see. Uh, got that one. We're going to get the things that we don't need, of course. And 
let's see here. So we got one and two are done. Three is pretty much done, right? We just got a few more of these to get. But we're going to get the nanites when we get these other phases done. Uh, as soon as we get to the rendezvous. So that'll, that'll work out good. All right, good, good, good. All right, so one, just rendezvous one. Okay, good. All right, well, let's get going. And let's let's see what we need to do next. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our ship to go to rendezvous one. The problem is, is that we are definitely, we definitely need to upgrade our hyperdrive. All right, let's see what kind of upgrades we have at the space station because we don't have any upgrades for our hyperdrive. We need something. We could sell these. We don't need them anyway, so. And then we'll head on to rendezvous one and we'll set up shop there. I think that'll work out good. All right. So, up we go. There's the ship upgrade dude, who, of course, every single Gek here likes to wave at us. I don't know why, but there we are. Uh, let's see, let's see. So, we're going to sell that one. We got about a thousand dollars, so that's good. All right, yeah, we got plenty of room now. Um, we have no S class ones. We have an A class and a B class. And obviously, it has a C class too. Let's just grab the see the B class and of course the A class. That should probably be enough. Let me check this. Uh, yeah, here they are. Oh, that's nice. Put it in our ship inventory for once. All right, there we go. And not bad. Four hundred, four hundred light years ought to do. That ought to be all right. Let's see how we do. Okay. Uh, yep, that's pretty much it. Off we go. And into the galaxy. Let's see if that worked. Perfect. Yes. All right, yep, one shot. Good deal. All right, we're on our way. We should be able to pick up one more upgrade on the way. All right, so basically using our ship is a lot more efficient than using our freighter, as you have noticed. So we're going to be using our ship to do a lot of uh, hyperdrive uh, stuff, you know, jumping around the systems and stuff like that rather than using the freighter. We only had to use it once. All right, oh, there's our spot. Do we need to... Well, we'll pull in the freighter, so at least it's here. Um, I have a reason for doing that as well. Um, do we need to hit the space station? Yeah, I think we do. We got a couple things to do there. Um, no, you know what? No, let's skip it. Let's just go to the straight to the rendezvous. We'll get at least that one rendezvous out of the way. And hopefully we will, let's see, it looks like there's a storm going on, so hopefully we can find the rendezvous. Every rendezvous that we come across, by the way, is going to be a um, portal on the planet. So there's that. But we're not actually going to use any of the portals. We could, but we're not going to. Um, to use the portals, we would need the glyphs. And to get the glyphs, we would have to find some travelers. There's one at the first station that you go to. But that's it. Uh, that is definitely not what we're looking for. Ugh. This weather makes it look like soup around here, so it's hard to find anything. I know the rendezvous is not there, obviously. It's going to be a portal, but somehow... I don't think it's up high. I want to say it's down low. Yeah, it's down this way, I think. I can't see a blessed thing, though. Good grief. Look at all this. Uh, nope, not over here. If you all can see it, let me know. I'm kidding, of course. That's not it. That's rocks. Alright. Guess it's somewhere over this way, maybe? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yep, there it is. There it is. It was down the slope there. Okay, that's good. All right, let's go ahead and land over here. We just got to land next to it, that's all. All right. 
Excellent. Okay, so that see it just said rendezvous one complete. So we're gonna go ahead and get our thousand nanites, hundred and sixty quicksilver, and five inventory slots. The quicksilver is really what we're looking for here, that and the nanites, of course, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the two upgrades up there, and then let's just use the three down here, fill in some spots. There we go. Alright, so that's done. Phase one is now complete. Let's go ahead and get this too. You get the reality glitch customization trail. That's for your jetpack. If you've never had that one before. Rendezvous two is our next one. Rendezvous three, we've got to discover eight systems and get more nanites. And off we go. So here's how we're going to do this. In order to get our eight systems with tens of thousands of players playing, You've, we've got an issue, unfortunately, with everybody discovering new systems. And, yeah, that's going to be a problem with this, because if you follow the uh, Beachhead Expedition path, everything around that path is going to be, obviously, already found by somebody else. We have to find eight new systems. Right now, this is the best way I've found to do it, is to come here to the Anomaly, and we have two things to do here anyway. So you have that 160 Quicksilver, right? Go to your Quicksilver vendor right here. And we're going to scroll through the pages real quick. All right, let me see here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, eight, nine. I'm looking for it. Uh, Ten. Wow, okay. Eleven, twelve. For me, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It'll be different for you guys. Sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. Oh, there it is. There it is at the top. There it is. Myth Beacon. Get one of these. They're 80 Quicksilver. You only need one. Just get one. And you have completed a milestone that you didn't even know existed. See? It was all blocked out, but now you have it. So just go ahead and grab it first thing as quickly as you can. Now, whether they patch that out later, I have no idea. But, all right, second thing we're going to do is we're going to head over here. We're going to go to the portal. I'm going to just jet back up. That way my running can recharge. Okay, there we go. And over to the portal. Okay. And you're going to use this portal to go to a system that you have never seen before. Um, possibly you've seen these systems before, but this is the best thing I can think of, is to use this portal to find a different system to go to. That way you can explore from there and find eight new systems. It might be a lot quicker to do it that way. So, yeah, that's probably the best thing. Again, with tens of thousands of people looking for uh, different new systems all around this whole area is going to be pretty much taken up. So let's go to our terminus and... Choose any one of the five at the top. So if you just go to Featured, it'll block out everything else uh, over here on the left. There we go. And you can choose any one of these five and go someplace else. Like if I go to, for instance, uh, let's see, let's go to Butterfly House. Let's take a look at that real quick. Or Wizard's Rest. Yeah, let's check it. Um, it's in the same system, though, so it's kind of hard to say. I'd rather find something in a different area. Yeah, this one. It's in a completely different galaxy. So let's go here. So we're on our way. No, no barrel rolls in here. Of course. A little saving, a little bit of stuff doing on here. Now, one thing you'll find when you come to these places is if you take a look at your radar at the top or even, you know, through your viewer, you can't find your ship, right? So we're going to make it uh, appear here. Well, we can't make it appear here. Let's put it up... Uh, uh, well, hmm. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Well, he's got quite the mug on him, doesn't he? All right, so we're going to find our eight systems, right? Make sure that's highlighted so we know where we're going. Okay. And the point is, leave this area. And we're going to go into hyperspace. 
galaxy map, okay? And we're just going to head in a random direction. If you try to go by the green arrow, it doesn't know where the heck it's taking you. You know, it's free explore at this point, so you're just going in a random direction. I am going to just go in a random direction in another direction. Like, let's just go over here. Uh, oh, well, that's right. I don't have much of a jump range on this right now, so I'm going to go a little bit closer. Yeah, that looks good. It doesn't make a difference what system it is or what type of system. I really don't care. Even if it's uncharted, we'll find it. All right, we're at our first system here. There we go. All right, and it's already discovered by Hugh. All right, so we'll just have to take another jump immediately. So let's see. Let's go out a little further. No big deal. There, that looks fine. 300 light years. Let's just check it out. Now, the good news is, is in, in reality, the reality is, is that you will find systems that you can use here. Anytime now. All right, there we go. The blink of your taillights always tells you you're about to exit. There you go. <laughs> Guess what? We just found a system. Fantastic. All right, so there's our first. Let's move on. Going to keep going in this kind of direction. Let's go someplace else now. Hopefully something close by will be good. This two-planet system might be fine. Let's check it out. Now, if you want to fast forward through these, that's fine. Nothing on toward is going to happen mostly. Although, I will tell you that there are some things that can happen while you're hyperspacing multiple times. Like this. Yeah, this is what I thought. See, you're going to come across pirate attacks every now and then. But honestly, you know, you're in a shuttle, guys. You're not going to fight these guys. It'll be a slaughter. Uh, just go to the lead ship all the way at the front here. Turn around. <clears throat> And just head towards it. And boink, gone. And you're all set. And you don't have to fight them now. So you can just go straight into your... Let me see, we didn't find... This was not a new system. This was already discovered, strangely enough. So let's go on. I'm going to go a little further down. I'm going to go down this time, I think. Yeah, a little further out, but down. Let's see if we can find a different system nearby. I'm going to check filters. I was looking for maybe... Um, like that, a uncharted systems, but you know, most of those are going to be cadmium or indium drive and everything like that. So yeah, I don't think that's going to work out. Let's just choose any system. That's fine. Yeah. Let's just go there. Hope for the best, not far away, but you know, maybe Hugh didn't go crazy with looking for systems or whoever had found that last one. And blink, blink. There we go. And excellent. First contact again. All right, so we got two down. Six to go. Just go to a system right over here. That's fine. Go. So when you're playing this, this, this is time consuming. You're spending, you know, however many seconds you're between your system and your um, uh, computer can handle and everything like that. So uh, in hyperspace, it doesn't count against in-game time. So for those of you who are going to be speed running, this doesn't count. The few seconds you spend here, it says first contact. You can immediately go into your menu. You don't even have to tab out of it like I keep doing. Just go straight into your hyperdrive menu. So we got three systems under our belt. Look for another system and go. And we're just going to keep going like this. We got five systems to go. And blink, blink. Next system. Oh, it's already been discovered. Figures. Okay. Well, let's go on. Outlaw system, too. Look at that. All right. Hyperdrive looks like it's doing okay. We can get at least uh, two, maybe three more jumps out of it. 
Let's go a little further out. Yeah, that looks good. Let's just go on our way. All right. Boom. Oh, another pirate. I'm just going to go to the, do the same thing, go up to the lead ship here and hit it. And I'm hitting it from the side. No, oh, that worked. Okay, good. All right, so we can go straight into this. It looks like this was uncharted, by the way, as you can see. So we got our hyperdrive. Looks like I can get at least one more jump in. Maybe two. I don't want to charge it all the way up again unless I run out completely. And in case you're wondering, this is, yes, a voiceover because uh, my audio in the game messed up somehow. I don't know how, but... No, not in the game. In the recording. Let's be clear. All right, is this the first? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's number five, I believe, right? Yep, there it is, number five. Okay, we got one more jump left. That's good. We'll definitely efficiently use our jump drive, so we can go ahead and go one more system. We're not going to go far. We're finding some nice uh, first contacts all over the place over here, so that's good. So this will be number six, I believe. Then we'll recharge our hyperdrive. There we go. Number six, number six, please, 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 please. Yes. Okay, that's six. Good. All right. We're going to recharge. And on our way. So this will be going to number seven. Uh, let's go over there. That's fine. I think we're going to find the next two pretty quickly, hopefully. Okay, there we go. All right, good, good, good. Next system over here. Okay. On our way. Almost there. <clears throat> Blink, blink. Ugh, again. Uh, all right. Is that over there? Get rid of it. I don't know if we got all eight, but we'll find out in a moment. Let's see if it's just hitting the side of this thing. It didn't. Oh, okay, that worked. Uh, okay. I think we got it. Yes, yes, we did. We got all eight. Fantastic. Got a hyperdrive upgrade out of it, too, and some more slots. Um, I think I'd rather put a couple up here. There we go. So we can get them around our hyperdrive a little bit. And hmm, let's put them up here. That way, they're all lined up. Okay, good. Let's head on to the space station. There it is, the achievement, as we run into every single rock on the way. All right. There we go. Okay, so while we're here, let's go ahead and put our hyperdrive upgrade in. Ah, nice, 661. That's really, really nice. And we don't need the mining beam upgrade, let's be clear. We're not mining anything anymore. Oops, excuse me. All right, and here we go. So we're going to use this portal. Remember what we did with our freighter? We're just going to go straight back to our freighter. So now we're going right back to rendezvous one in a different galaxy, and we can pick up where we left off. So I think that was a pretty good idea, personally, but we'll see.
All right, and we're back. And there's someone standing in front of me, and I have no idea where I am. Uh, this way? Nope, nope, nope. Turn around. There we go. Okay. So, off to our ship. I don't think we need to do anything else in here. We need nanites, but we're going to get them getting our rendezvous 2, 3, and 4. Uh, and that'll clean bleed out 4 once we get to 4. That's the funny part. All right. We only got a few more things to go. So let's just go ahead and head out to number two. I think that's what we're going to do. But again, we're going to use our ship rather than our freighter because uh, more efficient, right? And we should get a straight shot to two. There we go. On our way. Got to do barrel rolls. Every now and then you got to do another barrel roll. It will delay your re-entry if you do it at the wrong moment, like if you do it right now. If you do it now, it'll delay your re-entry, and it'll actually spend more time in hyperspace, so don't recommend doing it all the time. Okay, so we're in the Rendezvous 2 system. Let's wait to tell, for it to tell us where we're going. Okay, there we go. Right there. An aggressive Sentinel Planet, so we don't want to spend a lot of time here. We'll land, do what we need to do, and get out of there. And I don't think we're lined up on the rendezvous again. So I want to take this time to thank the people who put all their save beacons and stuff down, all their bases right around the rendezvous that throw us off. Appreciate that. All right. Back to the engines. Oh, rendezvous changed. It's over there. But again, we're looking for a portal. It doesn't look like we have a storm this time. Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay. Excellent. Rendezvous 2 is right here. Hold on a second. All right. And it's gone. Rendezvous 2. There we go. That's another thousand nanites. Let's go back to the ship just to play it safe. All right. Uh, so uh, there we go. Rendezvous 2. More Quicksilver, more inventory slots, another thousand nanites. Let's just go ahead and add them in real quick. Yeah, what the heck? Let's just put them there. All right, and you get your Wayward Cube plan. So that's a cosmetic item for your like bases and stuff like that. All right, um, so one is complete, two is complete, three. We're just going to go to the rendezvous. Let's just go ahead and head over there and get it out of the way. On our way. Okay. Hyperspace. Rendezvous 3. And here we go. Alright, so this will get us another thousand nanites. There we go. Blink, blink. And we're back. There we go. I don't know why it's telling me about Quicksilver. Anyway, here we go. Rendezvous 3. I don't even know if we're going to be lined up on it, but here we go. Uh, let's see. Looks like we are, strangely enough. But, eh, you know. This is activated copper, so they got bad storms here. I'm just going to go ahead and recharge certain things real quick. Since we have a few moments, uh, looks okay here. Uh, no, well, I guess we're okay. All right, not more to do there. Okay. Yeah, I figured as much. Yeah, another base, another base. I wish there was a way to do that, to, to eliminate other people's bases so you couldn't see them, like a choice in the menu or something like that. One of these days i got to take a look. Maybe they put it in there and they didn't tell us. Okay, so we're looking for the portal. It should be obvious. Oh. Yeah, okay, there we go. The red, red save beacon, it looks like, is it. Okay, interesting. That actually was helpful. Makes me wonder if the next one will have the same thing. All right. Okay, that should do it. Okay, so three is now complete. And we got 1,000 nanites again. 
Quicksilver, some more inventory slots. I'm going to put them some over here. And we'll upgrade that a little bit too. Okay, let's go to our ship. Once again, double check. Um, phase three. Oh, you get your fleet commander's cape customization for yourself. And you see, we're almost at the maximum amount of nanites we're supposed to get. We're about 140 short. But, you know, we're going to get that as soon as we get to rendezvous four. So let me show you that real quick. All right, so three complete and four. We're going to do that, but let's go to rendezvous four first. And we'll get both of those in one shot. Uh, there we go. Off we go. All right. So I figure we'll be finishing this in about 20 minutes or so. We've got a few extra things to do. And of course, I'm going to waste some time doing some other things too. And there we go. Hmm. Interesting little black planet over there at Rendezvous 4. Gonna have to check that out, see what that's about. Okay, probably a moon. All right, or just really far away, like our really close Rendezvous 4 over here. Hello Games always chooses a system where you're traveling forever to get to the planet you need to get to. Okay, so Rendezvous 4, we'll get a thousand nanites, and that should achieve our, you know, quantum foam and complete out 4. Uh, five. Okay, we just gotta go to the rendezvous and we can go from there. Even though one of them is already open to deploy the Myth Beacon. We, we, have, to, we have a different system we gotta get to to do that. So, let's just do these in order. And again, I'm not even sure if we're lined up properly here. Thousand kilometers? No? No. That was a million kilometers. Okay, now we're under a million. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Nothing really else to do here. Everything's charged up enough. Hmm. All right, we're going to need these planetary charts. I'm glad I got so many of them. So keep that in mind. You're going to need a bunch. I think in reality we only need three, two, three... No, we have to discover three ancient things. So three, four, five, I think five. I think five all total is how many you need. All right, um, portal again. Can't see a blessed thing here. We're going to be running into everything because I can't see. Yeah, just land. Problem is the estimated spot, the approximation, is on a slope. And there's nowhere to land around here until you go to the way far away up to the top. Like, I'm up here at the top, and I try to land, and yeah, still doesn't think I'm there. Um, let's try up here. Nope, that's not really an up here, is it? As it is plants. Let's try here. Nope, that didn't like that either. Boy. I'd like to arrive at this planet one of these days without the storm. Um, let's try landing uh, here. No. That's not working either, even though this looks pretty level. It doesn't allow us to land here on the edge, on the ridge up there. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I wish I had my timer going. I'd like to know how long it's taking me to actually land at rendezvous four you know what i should have done i just realized this because i'm watching this after the fact too there is that red um save point over there to the right i should have tried that can't land on the top of this thing even on the edge of it it won't let us so we're going to go to the top of a hill up here but you see that red dot there yeah Somebody was kind enough to put that there, but if, depending upon what iteration you uh, got into, um, that red save point may not be there. It's over here. See? That's where I needed to go. Yeah. Right there. Okay, so we're just going to jetpack our way over there for now. I know we could do the running thing, but at this point with the terrain and the storm, yeah, Mazda just used our jetpack. Plus the storm is hot. 
so we are able to utilize our jetpack a little bit better here, more efficient. And of course, the storm is clearing, yeah. And it looks like we have a building here, but we're still pretty far away. So we're just going to go ahead and head over there. Now, I can't use my jetpack as much because it won't be as efficient. But it's still a pretty good jetpack with all the upgrades I've got. There it is. There it is. All right, let's get down here. And now it's too cold. Go figure. All right, let's pull our ship in. Ah, there we go. Rendezvous 4, finally. That took us about, what, four minutes? Good grief. All right, Rendezvous 4, and we get our 1,000 nanites, our upgrade slots. I'm going to put them up here this time. And eh, put one down, a couple down there. Okay, good. And we got our nanites, as you can see. Fantastic. Got two things I don't need. Uh, the reward... I skipped past it too quickly. Let me take a look. Um, is Oh, yeah, the Golden First Spawn Battle Mask. Customization for your character. Very cool. I'm um, glad they're showing that one again. I'm bringing that out. Okay, so we're going to go on to Rendezvous 5. And proceed in order. And there's not much left to do except do these in order at this point because all the easy stuff's been taken. Myth Beacon's not going to help us any until we get done with Rendezvous 5 and the very next milestone. Make sure you, you, you select the right one. I've done that before. I'll choose the one next to it, and that just causes problems. So If I find another pirate battle there. Ooh, we're shaking. And we're shimmying. The ship's all over the place over there. As long as parts don't come, start flying off of it, I guess. Okay. Blink, blink. And we're back. Nice and smooth. Good. All right. Where are we going? Over that way. Ah, oh, good. Another close planet. If we can get lined up this time. It'd be kind of nice. Uh, rainy, star bulb, copper. Okay, we don't have anything special. Just high sentinel activity, not aggressive. So that's good. All right, we're on our way. Uh, let's see over a million, 1.1. Yeah, less than 30 seconds, good. So we're going to get a thousand more nanites for doing this, even though we don't need them now. And we should be able to finish up the rest of these in about 15 minutes, so... Or less, really, but yeah. Oh, no, we're not lined up. Of course, we're lined up with somebody else's base again. Right. All right, fortunately, clear weather. Rainy planet, but white. How interesting. Almost looks like it's snowy, but it isn't. Ooh, we've got the flowers in the atmosphere here. This is a pretty one. Uh, oh, there it is, right there. Okay, good. In between the spires, huh? And down we go. Good deal. So this is five. Five is now complete. There we go. Let's check the reward real fast. Uh, okay, thousand. And you get his, your historiographical, uh, whatchamacallit, desponder or whatever it's called. We had to do some flux readings now. So this is where our... We already found one of them. Let me see. Maybe we need six of these. I'm trying to think of how many we're going to need. I'm going to have to go over it again. But I think, as far as the planetary charts are concerned, I think you need six. All total. We have seven left. We've already used one. So, and you just do a scan, look for whatever you got. This one happens to be a monolith. Perfectly fine. Just go there. And land and try not to overshoot it like I did, or land on top of it like I almost did. There we go. All right. Up we go. And if you haven't gotten all your words yet, you can get three of them here. That's handy. Uh, where's the front of this thing? Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, don't worry about paying attention to the information on it. Use number one to take the dosimeter reading for Nada. Okay. Barrier failure detected. Translation. A lost weapon. A found weapon. Always there when needed. Awaiting its call. Awaiting its duty. 
Okay, finalize. Okay, talking about your multi-tool, I think. Not quite sure about the lore behind that one. All right, we'll do another scan. Holy mackerel, look at that. It's like literally right in front of me. That's fantastic. Let's go ahead and land here. Oof, almost overshot it. Okay, there we go. Weather's calm, huh? Hmm, interesting. All right, and I'm, again, I'm not going to read any of this because it's, it's useless. All we want to do is hit the number one, the dosimeter. Uh, store a graphical barrier. Translated readout follows. Each iteration, eat every cycle, the pattern repeat. The patterns repeat, new patterns emerge. It's talking about, the iterations it's talking about is your character. We have different characters that repeat and others that are brand new. The new ones are the game players. New game players that come into the system. So congratulations. Thank you very much for joining us, folks. All right, so we're going on to a third one over there. Okay. And I think, how far away is this one? Oh, yeah, we're not flying straight. Upper atmosphere, let's get out of the out into space for a moment. Select it, and we can pulse drive to it. There we go. A little quicker this way. And, of course, it's nighttime. Fortunately, still no storms. And, oh, this one's on an island, too. Cool. All right, so you had to use it three times to find your three ancient ruins. We had to find another ancient ruin earlier, so that was one. We could probably put that off and combine the two. So I'll have to think about that later. I'll have to think about that later, see how we do. All right, let's get up to the top of this. Oh, man, we'll attacking, but that's okay. We'll be gone before it has a chance. Ignore it. The scimitar, it's going to give us the same intro. Translated readout. Same patterns. Explorer, skeptic, abandoned, the traveler. So, again, talking about us. Fantastic. Okay, we're done. Okay, so we collected our flux readings. And, hmm, interesting. Anomalous research program is complete. Fascinating. All right, so we're done with that. 600 nanites, living slime that we don't need. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Forgot. Yeah, finally, huh? Right? Haven't had to recharge this in a while. All right. Let's head out. And here's the part that I keep messing up on. So we need to do this, and it's selected. Oh, we got to choose it. That's right. Okay, so 600 more nanites and more residual goop this time. So we have to deploy it. And this is where I got confused, because I thought... It's not telling us. If you look at the right-hand side, it's I'm trying to go through the different things, and it's just telling us to report it back to Nada and Polo. Um, all right, and we have to submit the dosimeter readings. It's almost like it's not recognizing the fact that I've already done that particular milestone. So do we have to do this? No, it's still giving us the same information. I just don't think it's moving on. Scanned, that didn't do anything. All right, let's 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 go to the anomaly. Let's pull it in and go in and out of the anomaly. It's still not changing. It's telling me we got Quicksilver, of course, so we can go to the Quicksilver vendor, but we're not, we don't really need anything. It's really stuck on that research, I'll tell you. All right, um, we're going to take a walk over here. Now, you don't have to do this. I'm doing it for you. Okay, guys, so hang on just a minute. Let's talk to Nada. It's related to Gex. He likes to gesture a lot. Um, is it first? Is it last? No, there's nothing here. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and exit the anomaly. Maybe we'll do another scan and see if that brings up anything. Again, nothing's popping up at the right corner now. Okay, now what? Uh, let's see. Scan. Nope, we're still on that. I think we're going to re-choose Echo. Okay, good. Now what? Uh, it's acquired. We scanned. Nothing's happening. Huh. Oh, 
Okay, there it goes. Finally, it's choosing it. It tells us to go into the hyperspace menu. And we're going somewhere else. Right there. Okay. Figures. I knew it was another system, but I couldn't remember. All right. Let's see where this brings us. Blink, blink. And we're out. Okay, so we are here and going over here. Okay, yep, there we go. And somebody else's new colony, isn't that great, huh? Ah, another base, another base. Look, look what I did. Come on, people. All right. So this one is an unusual planet. So as we come in, we need to find... Look at all those bases. Unbelievable. We need to find... That's an approximate location, but the location is obvious. Look at the right-hand side there. There we go. Right there. And somebody built a base on top of it. And thank you, folks. I want to let you know that we're having a very hard time landing over here because of all your bases that you're producing all over the place over here. It's really a problem. Unbelievable. Okay. You know what? Yeah. Um, this is just plain annoying. I I'm not even interested in checking out your base, I'll be honest. I'm going to record it. Okay, there we go. Nice and clean. We don't have to worry about this crap. Not impressed. I mean, really. All right. Um, Myth Beacon. Okay, we want to deploy it by selecting it. Okay, that is now complete. Right? Yep, we're done. Okay, so we're done with that one. It's not registering, but that's okay. Let's go back to our menu. And next thing we need to do is seize the Sword of History. All right. And in case you're wondering what that's about, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the Normandy. Look at that beautiful ship. Mass Effect. I just absolutely adore this ship. It is so good looking. We're going to ignore the message for a moment. Let's get some screenshots, shall we? This is a beautiful system for it to appear on. Too bad you can't land on it. I mean, that would be really cool. Look at how pretty this is. Wow. Look at look at the sky and everything. It's just a fantastic shot here, right? A very pretty planet. I'm going to pull back as far as I can. I don't know if we're going to get the whole thing in here, but... Yeah, that's really cool, isn't it? Are we going to get it? Ah. All right, well, we got most of it. Let me just do a quick screenshot. Give me just a second, guys, while I adjust things. I might get another shot of this later. Okay, I'm using special screenshot software, so um, I don't use the in-game screenshots in order to... Yeah, it doesn't go as high resolution. Even though I've adjusted it, it still doesn't do a high resolution for me. All right, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and answer it. Oh, look at these shots, too. Historiographical flux spike detected. Is that cool or what? <laughs> All right, we're going through the missions. Okay, this the call was made. The call was answered. The weapon is yours for Paragon or Renegade Intent. Historiographical flux spike subsiding. SSV Normandy SR-16, communications link established, connected, connect to ship. And there it is. And you now can add that to your fleet. What a beautiful ship. And off it goes into the sunset. Isn't that fantastic? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. So that should complete the whole expedition. I'm going to just come out here into space. Rather than landing on the planet, just jumping in and out of my ship, I'm going to pull in the... Freighter. I'm going to summon my freighter. And no, I'm not, because 
these are popping in. I hate that. Let's go ahead and bring it over here. There we go. Okay. Boink. And if, whoa, okay, that was really close. That doesn't usually happen like that. And if you look up just for a moment, boink and boink. And there is the Normandy up there. Let's go take a look at it up here. Beautiful ship, isn't it? See if we can get a better shot from over here. Back to picture mode. I'm going to bring the sun over so we can see the top of the ship. Ugh, I know, I'm all over the place, guys. Let's tilt this a little bit so we can see it. Ah, much better. That is a really cool ship. Let's see how far back we can get this time, see if we can get the whole thing. I hope so, because I, I'm loving the engines and everything on this thing. Just about the whole thing. Look at that. Okay, we're at the edge, but if we adjust this just a little bit, let me tilt a little bit more. Move over just a touch. There we go. That looks perfect. With me flying right in front of it, I like that. We're going to do one more screenshot here. And there we go. I think that should do it. Boom. I got to save the other one first. Taking an extra moment. Sorry. Give me just a second here. Very pretty, though. There we go. All right, we're done. Let's go ahead and head into our freighter. Which, by the way, I'm not against this freighter. It's a nice one. Wish it was better class, but that's okay. And there we go. Expedition. Let me get our rewards real quick. We get 600 more nanites. See, like I said, you don't have a problem with nanites in this particular expedition, guys. Um, we get our decals and banners for the reward for phase five, right? And then final is uh, the titles. And you get the SSV Normandy available in the Quicksilver store as an expedition reward. And you can pick it up anytime and add it to whatever save. Congratulations, traveler, or primary expedition goals complete. Your save will convert to a standard save if you wish to continue. Earned rewards can be collected on any save via the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion on the Space Anomaly. Be sure to check back for the start of new expeditions soon. Excellent. So that completes our expedition, guys. And this turns into a regular save as of now. And if we jump out, that's it. So I do want to thank you all for watching, and I really appreciate you all being here. Please hit the like and subscribe. If you want to see the time that we did this in, let's just check it real quick. This was a very casual playthrough, as you saw. Hour and a half in game. Look at that. Hour 36 minutes. No problem. So really, really cool. Guys, again, thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next uh, rendition. Sorry for the audio problems we've been having, but uh, you know, hopefully you still liked it. Again, take care, everybody. We'll see you later.